Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how we can able to get the sales of the running month and its previous two months. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So this is the sales table. We have the data from 27 July to February 2020. So this running month is February 2020. And we want the data of previous three months. It is February, January and December. Two in 2020 and one is 2019. And if you go to next month, that is in March, we need March, February and January sales. How are you able to achieve this in Power BI? For that, you need to go to Power Query Editor, Transform Data. So this is a sales table. First of all, you need to extract the month and year from the table. Right click here and then add as a new query. It will add a new query at the bottom. So right click, remove duplicates and then right click to table. It changes to table. You need to change the data type to date. And then you need to add right click here. Add column from example. I have made a video about the add column from example. If you haven't seen that, just click on the link given on top of your screen. It's the powerful tool in Power BI. So 201707, that is year and month. So click enter again 201707. And if you go to August 201708, that's it. It changes for every month. So column name is year and month. Okay, click OK. So it adds up one more column here. Now we don't need this column, so right click here and remove. Again, you need to change this to whole number. It is this a number here. Again, you need to right click and remove duplicates. Now you have the dates column here 2017-07 and everything here. Then the next step is just click here and sort it by descending. So February comes here if the March adds, so March will come on the top because we are sort by descending order. And next you need to add a column here. Add columns, index column and let's start from zero. I have made a video about how to add the index column in Power BI and what are the features available in that. If you haven't seen that, just click on the link given on top of your screen. Now coming back to this one, you need to add column, index column and from zero. So zero is current month, one is the previous month and two is next previous month. So we got this sort order, we rename this query to sales order year month. The next thing is, let's go back to the sales table and then right click add columns from example into add 2017 07 2017 07 like we did before and at august 2017 08 that's it so this is also year one click ok and apply and close The next step is you need to create the relationship. So modeling and manage relationship. So click new. The primary table is this one, year and month. Secondary is sales table. This is the year and month. So it is one to many relationship. Click OK and close. So go to this one and then the sales table, click on the sales value. What all sales in 549? Data label, none. Okay. So this is the current month is 31,000. And then on this table, you need to add a filter for the index. Filter on this visual, 
we need to add as a basic filter to zero so we got this for current month and copy visual paste here this for current month and this for previous month the index should be one instead of two sorry instead of zero and paste again and the index should be two so if you look at the table the last value is 31000 31000 66 66 50 and 50 so now i have renamed to this one this is a current month sale this is a previous month sale and this is a previous before previous month sales so this is how you can able to achieve the current month and then the previous two month sales easily in power bi not only that even if you want to use for the previous five quarters six quarters or previous many months or previous many weeks as well or previous many years as well you can use the same steps as what i did for the previous three months if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you're new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below i'm making the real-time world cases to help everybody on the community to clear their real-time scenarios if you are facing any of such kind just post it on the comment section below i will try to make a video of the solution in future share it with the friends and colleagues thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video